Here we go. Jeez. That doesn't bode well for the day. Let's get, keep kicking ass. Nice. breathing hard about 0.7 of a two mile 2.1 covered some ground nothing to it this is definitely shit I couldn't have done I'd have fucking died I died walking up a fire road in Iceland like what Six months ago? Yeah. Definitely making progress. I'll be fucking trashed this afternoon though. Yeah, you got pizza? Yeah, pizza. Finding pizza, bruv. Yeah. <sighs> nice. 45 minutes in. <sighs> Doing it. Sure that it doesn't come out. No? No. Onward to the top. Like half a mile left. Yeah, babe. You're doing it. You're almost there. I feel like it. Closer than we were. Yeah. Fuck your knee. Make it happen. Hell yeah. Think back on sitting on fucking crutches for eight weeks. Hell yeah. Two hours in, two miles up. This is what we bargained for. I think the trail can continue on to a second summit. We're not gonna make it. I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. This is light years ahead. It's a nice one. Yeah, getting down will be tricky. I'm gonna be fucking pretty waxed. Be stoked on some pizza. Man. I'm not coming home with a bunch of hippie crystals. I can if I want to. You can't. All right. Let's get some snacks.
Now we go back down. Boom. Get it. Damn straight. He did it. Four miles was three hours. I'm fucking shattered. That's awesome. Let's go find some food. Yeah? So this was a big day, man. Like, getting to go on that hike, that was one of the reasons we went to Sedona was simply to go on some hikes and do stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we had exchanged some texts with some friends that morning, I think Aubrey, and, you know, figuring out where to go hike. And they had some easy stuff, and then we decided, fuck it, that we were gonna go for the more aggressive one. I figured with the way my knee feels, I'm better at a sprint that's gonna be a bit more painful than I am trying to slog through like a full day of consistent climb, right? And so we did a shorter climb that covered, you know, probably I think a 2,000 foot elevation gain, and really stoked, man. This was uh, another big moment and a big thing off the checklist. I mean, I'm using some walking poles and our trekking sticks or whatever the name of them is, but I fucking did it. And I did it on my feet and I did it and I got down. Um, it wasn't quick, it wasn't anything, it wasn't, imp it wasn't real fucking impressive, but it got done. And that's the big progress. Like six months ago, back to that hike that we did in Iceland, it fucking shattered me. It whipped my ass. Like I physically was debilitated pain-wise when I got finished. To the point of like, as soon as I hit concrete when we were in Iceland, I sat down and they had to go get the car to come get me. It was maybe 400 yards left. I just fucking couldn't do it anymore. And this trip wasn't like that. Um, I was beat up when I got done, but it all sorted out. It all worked out and it all chilled out the next day. And I guess the big message from this, right, is while things seem like they're shit and that's the rehab and that's injuries and that's setbacks, just keep chipping away, keep making progress and you can get back to a certain level. Um, I mean, realistically, I'm a long fucking way from, from throwing or from the type of ability I had when I was doing so, but I'm a different person and it's a different time in my life. That chapter's done and so now it's something else that's a challenge, something else that's gonna drive me and push me in and some of that is just how prepared can I be as a human for whatever cross my path, whatever type of physical challenge it is, I wanna be ready. I wanna be ready to do it and I think that's, you know, that's the mentality, that's the spread hate, that's the always party side, right? The always party is that being ready for whatever crosses your path, not being so fucking fragile, not being so caught up in something that I can't go and do. And that's something I did the whole time I competed as well. I was able to take part in events and jump into a powerlifting meet or do something like that. And so now it's, yeah, man, I want to be able to go for a mountain bike or a hike or maybe go kayak or raft, do some things that are outside of my comfort zone that are going to force me to think and problem solve and be a better person. And that to me is what it's been all about. That's kind of the new direction and new drive. And this trip that we made out to the, to the desert really gave some time for the two of us to talk and reflect on where we want to be and what goals that we have as a couple and as individuals. And man, it felt really good to share that climb with my wife and that climb with someone who's watched me lay on the couch for probably 16 or 17 weeks in the last two years from surgery and rehab, someone who's watched me be frustrated, someone who's taken care of me, you know, thanking her for the time that she spent to help me get better. So no matter how bad it is, remember that there's going to be progress. And that's kind of the point of these videos is like, I'm not setting out to make a comedy video or viral content or any of this. This is just honestly a way that I can best feel to share my life with you guys. And my life's gonna have ups and downs and changes in directions and my compass is never gonna point one direction straight. But the things that are always gonna maintain is that physical strength and physical health are always gonna be part of it. Being fit, being healthy, eating good things, making right decisions, and expanding my options in my life simply because I'm a stronger person. 
a strong life's a better one. And I can't do the things that I love without being strong. So I hope that means something to you guys as it does me. Thank you guys for watching Rehab through everything to this big change of something I could not have fucking done before. And I plan on keep knocking on the door of things that I couldn't done injured again and not taking for granted that my body works, that I can do these things, that I can push myself, that I can be challenged. So, spread hate, always party. Also, new drop of gear, 3 p.m., which is basically now. Check it out, links below, thehate.com. Use code subscriber, save 15%. And we have some stuff from Black Friday and other stuff like that that have moved to last call that are much discounted because we are trying to move them out. Make room for the new shit. Now spread hate always party.